Joining me now, Mercedes Schlapp, White House Director of Strategic Communications. Mercedes, good evening to you. Good evening. Um, a lots of strategy and a lot of communicating on the issue that uh, cropped up over the course of this weekend. Tell me what you can about the meeting that Brett Kavanaugh had at the White House today. Well, I can't get into any specifics of the meeting, but I will tell you that uh, Brett Kavanaugh, as we know, Judge Kavanaugh, has made it very clear that he believes that this is a completely false um, allegation. Uh, this is something that we very much stand with Brett Kavanaugh. As a president has mentioned, uh, we do want a thorough process. We want to make sure everything is right when it comes to what the Senate Judiciary Committee has agreed upon. Uh, but with that being said, of course, Judge Kavanaugh, someone with with impeccable credentials, someone who I know personally, Martha, someone who I spent many hours in an office working through uh, important judicial nominees back in the day in the Bush administration, and someone who I respect greatly and uh, really is someone that, as we know, has a very strong character and, of course, should be able to defend his integrity during this process. Can, can you say that the White House is 100 percent committed to seeing the Kavanaugh nomination through? Absolutely. We are 100 percent committed to standing with Judge Kavanaugh. As we know, he is someone who is incredibly respected in the legal circles, someone who has received bipartisan uh, support from the legal community, uh, someone who comes with incredibly strong credentials, is very well respected. And uh, well, well, let me, we, let, let me just know, ask you, you know, did, did the president speak with him personally, Mercedes? No, the president has not spoken with Judge Kavanaugh uh, today. As we know, Judge Kavanaugh has been calling several senators. Yeah. And uh, the key is, obviously, as Judge Kavanaugh has said, he was not even aware of who this accuser was right. uh, before she had identified herself. Uh, this is a completely false allegation. And, uh, and it's incredibly disturbing that Senator Feinstein would have brought this up at the, at the last minute, uh, which has we know we've gone through four days of lengthy public hearings with Judge Kavanaugh. They had a closed session where they were able to talk about these sen sensitive topics. He had to respond to over a thousand written questions. Yeah. And now at the last minute, we're seeing Senator Feinstein uh, bringing this up. Uh, I just think it's in incredibly disturbing. It's incredibly unfortunate uh, that now we have to delay this process. Yeah, there are a lot of, a lot of questions about the timing and the motivation for all of this. Nonetheless, in this me to environment that we are all operating in now is there concern at the white house about what a potentially long drawn out process might mean politically as you head into the midterms look the key here is that we know that the president wants a thorough process and we're going to let the senate judiciary committee uh, proceed with that uh, her voice, the accuser's voice, should be heard. With that being said, I can tell you, I stand uh, as someone who knows Judge Kavanaugh, someone who's known him for over 17 years, who's seen him in a professional setting, in a social setting, and he is someone with utmost, the utmost character, someone yeah. who is a friend. And I, I just you feel know, that I, this I is incredibly that unfortunate that he's having to go through uh, about this. his character and, and that you've known him a long time. We do know now that the hearing is set for a week from today, from next Monday the 24th, I believe, of September, and it will be a public hearing. So this is going to turn into, you know, something we haven't seen the likes of which since, since the Anita Hill hearings. Is that something that this White House has the stomach for? Look, I think that at the end, we know that becoming the Supreme, next Supreme Court justice is such an incredible uh, responsibility, something that Judge Kavanaugh is ready for the task. Mm -hmm. He has been open. He has been transparent. He, he's been someone who has obviously already served in administration, has gone through six FBI background checks, has been given over 32 hours of testimony. We know for a fact that the Democrats from day one have been wanting to stall this process. From day one, we know that the, the vast majority of these Democrats, if not all, are saying they're not going to support Brett yeah, Kavanaugh. In fact, so they this is a last-minute political tactic by the Democrats to stall this process. We know that Judge Kavanaugh is qualified. He's someone who's incredibly respected. He's and and there's so many of these women who have known him for a very long we're, time. We're about to speak to two of them uh, in just a moment. I got to go, but but very quickly, has the White House discussed any backup plan if the Kavanaugh nomination derails about who I, might I mean, follow? That, as a the president said, he said it earlier, he's like, that's just a, even a ridiculous uh, thought in terms of making 
making sure that we are we are very focused on getting Judge Kavanaugh confirmed. Of course, we're going to let this process uh, go through. Okay. But at the end of the day, we stand with Judge Kavanaugh. We know he's a man of great character, oh. and I'm very proud to call him my friend. Thank you very much, Mercedes. Good to see you tonight, Mercedes Schlapp so from the much. White House.